Electric vehicles, everyone's talking about them. When will they become affordable? How long before they replace all gas powered models? Are the established automakers behind the curve on EVs? Yes, EVs are coming. Not because buyers are demanding them, but because companies and governments around the world are looking for ways to cut carbon emissions. As we approach 100 million new light vehicles hitting the roads around the world every year, the number of fossil fueled engines grows, spewing more and more emissions. Something needs to be done about this. Before you can say anything, it is a fact that removing ICEs from passenger cars and light trucks just moves the emissions from the vehicle to a power plant somewhere else. The true emissions from an electric vehicle depends on what source provides the power to the electrical grid. On average, the electric vehicle in the United States produces about one third the emissions from an equivalent gasoline powered vehicle. There's also the environmental cost to make and dispose of batteries. Given the global push for electric vehicles, many of these issues will be covered in the next decade or two. What do we have to look forward to as the industry shifts over to battery electrics? First, there are the disruptors. Since the launch of Tesla, other entrepreneurs have seen the light vehicle market as being ripe for the picking. Electric vehicles avoid the costly R&D and testing needed to certify and warranty an internal combustion engine powered vehicle, which lowers that one very high barrier to entry into this market. This has led companies like Neo, Faraday, Lucid, and dozens more to develop their own vehicles. Tesla has made it look so easy to other budding Elon Musks, and investors aren't shy about risking their money in hopes that each startup will become the next big thing when they missed the last big thing five or 10 years ago. The idea is build it and they will come. In economics, Say's law is often quoted here as supply creates its own demand. There is some limited truth to that, but an unknown company introducing a new electric vehicle will not immediately engender a queue of 50,000 buyers. Tesla gradually built up cult-like following over the last dozen or so years. And the idea that Tesla buyers are snapping up Model 3s and Model Ys just to get away from their ICE cars and trucks is absurd. Tesla builds a great performance car. To get that kind of performance from a $60,000 Model 3 would have taken a $150,000 exotic car just a few years ago. And it wouldn't have been able to haul more than one passenger or their luggage. This kind of performance and the image of being a Tesla owner has generated more sales than so-called green aspects of owning an electric vehicle. Ours like this take time and time is not on the side of startups looking to produce and sell tens of thousands of vehicles in their first year in order to return some money back to the investors. Many of these startups will fail. We are constantly reviewing where each of these companies stand and their likelihood of being successful. But will these successful few companies replace the legacy companies? Legacy automakers are not that far behind the curve. So far, only Tesla has shown any level of profitability on EV sales. It took the company more than a decade to turn four profitable quarters. Much of that profit has been selling carbon credits to legacy companies who have failed to reach necessary emissions levels. This part of the business will be around for a while, but as legacy manufacturers introduce new EVs, the demand for outside carbon credits will diminish. And like earlier cafe credits in the United States, EVs, along with plug-in hybrids, will be a necessary cost to companies making traditional ICE-powered vehicles. How will these legacy companies fare? Volkswagen jumped on the EV bandwagon first. Their need to sweep the dieselgate debacle under the rug pushed the German company into EVs full force. Known for its high-volume global platform development, Volkswagen created the MEB platform to make the transition to EVs easier. While the traditional MQB architecture will eventually grow to become the world's highest volume platform, the automaker expects the MEB platform to do the same for electric vehicles. With its ID lineup of models arriving to rave reviews, the automaker has done its homework and is showcasing it with competitive vehicles. Volkswagen's other brands will also move to electric vehicles ranging from the Workaday Seat to the high-end Bentley. General Motors has pulled out of regions where it wasn't competitive, but still recognizes the need to develop its own dedicated EV platform. The Ultium architecture will spawn multiple platforms to underpin ranges of cars, trucks, utilities, and vans. As an American company, GM took the right tack to focus on light trucks. And reintroducing the Hummer name not only gives the models an immediate name recognition, but also a rugged image. Whereas Volkswagen's ID sub-brand breaks new ground away from the Volkswagen image, General Motors' path harnesses an established aspirational name, allowing the vehicles to command a higher price and help reach profitability quicker. Other models will follow for Chevrolet and Buick. As the stalwart carrier of the American luxury label, Cadillac has chosen to modernize its image with an all-EV lineup. In the next five to 10 years, the brand hopes to eliminate all internal combustion engines from its vehicles and use the performance, 
and modern aura surrounding today's EVs to find younger buyers and move the brand solidly into its second century. But that's not even the grandest plan from GM. At the recent CES event, GM introduced its new Bright Drop brand of commercial vehicle solutions. Starting with an all new, all electric van, Bright Drop hopes to transition delivery businesses into the new age. Replacing gas and diesel powered class two and class three vehicles is just part of the plan. Adding in newly developed electric pallet movers adds last yard electric power to last mile deliveries made by over the road commercial vehicles. To wrap these commercial buyers into the whole Bright Drop family, GM provides a cloud-based application where all assorted products can be managed for better service and revenue. Over at Ford, they do not plan to be left behind. While GM is taking the spotlight and investors' attention at the moment, Ford has a raft of new models planned across three continents. Like Cadillac, Lincoln will showcase its new electric vehicles in a wave of crossovers, coupes, and sedans. Primarily focusing on China, most of the Lincoln lineup will be electric by 2025. The mainstream Ford brand is also growing its electric lineup. The recent introduction of the Ford Mustang Mach-E was a sly move. Taking a page from Tesla, Ford decided to not just sell another electric vehicle, but rather provide a known image to buyers. The performance gained offered by modern electric vehicles should bring with them the immediate significance to everyone on the street that there's something more than the lack of an internal combustion engine. Putting the galloping steed across the nose and selling it alongside the 57-year-old Mustang Coupe, the Mach-E hits the ground running faster than coming to the market with a Nissan Leaf or a Chevrolet Bolt. Following that up by electrifying the F-Series, the most popular vehicle in America, and the transit van will bring a different, more work-oriented image to the EV. This all will come full circle as the gas-fueled burble of a V8 is replaced by the shocking acceleration of an electric motor when the standard Mustang becomes an EV in just a few years. Every other major manufacturer has some sort of electric vehicle plan. From the sweeping change at Daimler with the electric vehicles covering nearly every segment that their internal combustion engine products currently fill, to the smaller companies who are looking for, to find partners in order to add more electric vehicles to the lineup. Yes, EVs are coming. This prediction has been made countless times over the last half century or more, but it has also been said this time is different. A growing desire to clean up the planet has taken hold. Plans are in place to limit or eliminate internal combustion engine vehicles from particular geographic areas. There is still a way to go in order to, for EVs to completely replace traditional vehicles, but the industry is much closer than it has ever been and there's no turning back. For more information on electric vehicles, Auto Forecast Solutions has put together the e-Power Pack, including the Global Electrified Outlook, our eight-year global forecast of every electrified light vehicle. Additionally, we have the comprehensive thousand-page AFS e-Power Pack guide, a compendium of every current and announced electrified vehicle in the world for the next eight years. And new this year is the AFS Global EV Startup Report, rating every EV startup from production to unrealistic. A must have for anyone looking to invest in this space. For more details on Auto Forecast Solutions market analysis and forecasts, sign up for any level of our products. Clients receive various regular reports, including the industry standard Auto Forecast Monthly. Check out our website, give us a call, drop us an email, Follow us on Twitter, LinkedIn, and Facebook. And of course, subscribe to our YouTube channel for more information. Until next time, I'm Sam Fiorani.